Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have been nominated to do a challenge. I am part of a, uh, a fantastic group on Facebook and we're doing the one, two, three challenge. So what that means is three people can tell me um, a couple of things to do as part of my creation. So the first person has nominated me to do an open cup pour. Uh, the second person has named three colours that I must use as part of that creation and that's uh, phalo green, a light blue and a rose pink and the third person nominated me to, to use a specific tool or addition to that creation so I was actually asked to use acrylic markers so I'm going to wait for the piece to dry um, use the acrylic marker obviously for some embellishment and then I'll be able to show you the dry piece afterwards. I'm really excited about this. It's going to be a challenge but that's what the 123 challenge is about. So let's see what we can create. Okay so I'm going to use a titanium white for my base. I'm just going to pour this in the middle uh, make sure that I've got enough and then I'm just going to blow it out with my uh, hair dryer uh, just to cover the, the full canvas. Okay, so it's my cookie cutter, so my open cup, and then uh, the three colours that I was nominated to use. Um, I've mixed these up quite thick actually, um, but I'm, I'm still hoping that's going to work. A bit thicker consistency that I, than I'd normally use for say a Dutch pour, um, and there's my splash of gold uh, that I've got. So I'm going to use these colours, I'm going to put them in the, uh, the open cup, so the cookie cutter, um, it will travel along the canvas and I'll lift it up as it goes and then uh, we'll see what we can create. So I've put the cookie cutter in the corner. I'm going to go from one end to the other. I'm just going to put a little bit more um, base paint on and I'm just putting it in the, the flow that I want it to go because that's, that's the direction of travel that I'm going to go with with my open cup. And then the additional paint on the canvas I've just put on now uh, will help with that glide across and flow. So I'm just going to layer up my um, my cookie cutter with the the four colours, um, and then once I've layered those, I will then drag the uh, the open cup across the across the canvas, releasing paint slowly as I go, um, and seeing what design we can create. Hopefully, there's going to be some cells. That would be great. Um, I want to make sure that I get a good um, negative space ratio to the design as well. I think some negative space with this one is going to work really well. So I want the, the perspective to be, to be spot on for this one. Um, I'm going to just put some more gold in. I, I'm a big fan of gold at the moment. I'm, I'm enjoying that colour. Okay. So a little bit more of the, uh, the light blue, the sky blue, and then I will, um, I'll add a little bit more of the, the rose just to kind of fill it up to the top okay um oh let's do this let's let's go for it so i'm just moving it across slowly releasing it as i go so you'll see some of the color escaping um this would be interesting oh i hope this really works i hope this works i've got enough paint i think i've got enough paint on the canvas so Okay, I can I can see some cells forming. Um, they might need a hand. I'm going to just use my torch just to get rid of any air bubbles and just to kind of see if I can give those cells a bit of a push. There we go, here we go. I can see them forming. Can you see them all the way along there? There's a real big cluster there. I'm really oh wow. Okay, this is good. So I'm going to tilt the uh, I'm going to tilt the canvas now, uh, just to see if I can stretch that design out a bit. Um, as I said, I wanted to still have some negative space, but it's important for me to stretch the paint 
out in the middle because you can still you can actually see now there's quite a puddle of paint in the middle so I want to move some of that across the canvas but whilst moving and tilting that design I don't want to lose the cells and the, the formation that I'm getting but I'm also enjoying well look at this I'm enjoying the well do you know what the colors the color combination I'm really impressed it's working really really well and yeah, I'm happy with this. So I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit more and then kind of going to do the famous fiddling and blowing out with my mouth, I think, just to see if we can get get the design just right. So, okay. Yeah, I am liking it. I'm loving the cells that are formed. Um, yeah. So I'm just blowing out some of the some of the paint. You, you can see the white paint that I'm blowing out that's on the base. I don't want that to be too thick because as it will dry, if there's a puddle of paint there um, and say it dries at a different rate, that's where, where you're going to get your cracking. So I'm just blowing some of that excess paint that I don't need off the side. And I'm quite happy that some of the colour escapes down the side as well. Um, I think that ha I think that helps with the like the flow of the design. Um, yeah, I'm 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 liking this one. Wow, yes, okay. So, let me take you in for a closer look. Here we go. What do you think? So I did I did use a couple of drops of silicone um to help that that kind of formation that you see there. Um I like the negative space that I've left and I'm I'm happy with the design. Okay, so the piece is dry. I absolutely love it. What do you guys think? Really, really love it. So the third part of the challenge was to use a an acrylic marker. So I've chosen um, a silver. And oh, do you know what? I don't know what to do. I absolutely love how it is there without touching it. But I've got to complete the challenge. So... I am going to just put a few lines with this marker on this piece just to um just to make sure that I've I've met the challenge. So I'm going to just do some silver just around here. Some more just in here. Some on the edge here. And just here. Some just in here. Okay, you know what? I am not going to embellish this any further because I absolutely love this, how it's turned out. Okay, here is the dried version. I absolutely love this piece. It's dried really well. The cells, the cell creations have um, maintained whilst it's been drying. I really love it. Let me know what you think. It'd be great to hear from you.